Cycas. Coming to the classification, Cycas belong to class Cycadopsida, order Cycadales, family Cycadaceae, and the genus is Cycas, and it is popularly popularly known as Sago Pum. In India, Cycas is represented by six species, namely Cycas revoluta, Cycas pectinata, Cycas yaminensis. Cycas, Cycas bedomii, Cycas rumphi, and Cycas sessinalis. Coming to the plant body, that is the sporophyte. The sporophyte of Cycas is divided into three parts, namely root, stem, and leaves. They are slow growing and evergreen. Coming to the first part, that is root. The primary root is a top root which is short-lived and soon replaced by adventitious roots. The roots are of two types, namely a normal root and curloid roots. The normal roots are well developed and bear root caps at their tips and are positively geotropic. Whereas the curloid roots are dichotomously branched, greenish brown in color and the tips are swollen and they do not bear the root caps. They have lenticel like apertures on their surface. They are negatively geotropic and are inhabited by blue green algae which perform the function of nitrogen fixation. Coming to the stem. The stem is unbranched, short, thick, cylindrical, columnar, covered by an armor of persistent leaf bases. In the armor are distinctly visible alternating bands of large leaf bases of foliage leaves and small rhomboidal leaf bases of scaly leaves. Coming to leaves, the leaves are dimorphic and these are the scale leaves and foliage leaves which alternate with one another. The scale leaves are small, dry, brown, triangular structures with a thick covering of brown hairs which is known as ramenta and they alternate with green foliage leaves and these protect the shoot apex and the reproductive structures. Coming to the foliage leaves. The foliage leaves are pinnately compound, unipinnate and paripinnate produced in a crown at the apex of stem, spirally arranged round the free growing apex of the stem and show circinate texas characteristic of ferns. The leaflets are arranged on both the sides of adaxial groove of the rachis in opposite or alternate manner. The rachis is spiny which are modified leaflets. The leaflets are sessile, leathery, lanceolate and has entire margin with acute apex. Each leaflet possesses a distinct midrib without lateral veins. And the young leaves are circinately coiled, covered with ramenta. Coming to the reproduction in cycles. In cycles, reproduction takes place by two methods, namely the vegetative method and the sexual. Coming to the first one, that is vegetative reproduction. Vegetative reproduction takes place by the formation of bulbils or adventitious birds which developed on the stem in the axil of scale leaves. The bulbil is an oval structure, broad at base and pointed at apex. The bulbils start to germinate by producing many roots from the lower side and a leaf towards the upper side. A bulbil from male plant will develop only into a male plant while a bulbil from a female plant will form only the female plant because cycus is dioecious. Coming to the sexual reproduction, cycus is heterosious. 
the male plant produces definite cones the male cone is the largest in the plant kingdom approximately 500 cm or more in length and the male plant produces every year a single main male cone at its apex and each cone is ovoid or conical structure the female cone uh, female plant does not produce definite cones it bears numerous megasporophylls loosely arranged in close spirals around the apex of the stem the ovules are orthotropous unitegmic sessile or shortly stalk cycas ovule is the largest in the plant kingdom with 6 to 7 cm in diameter and egg ovules are green covered with brown hairs whereas the fertilized ovules appear orange to red in color thank you